Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher. I'm trying to be late, but um, I have a problem with my other computer, so I have to computer. But the good thing is that here we are. So we're going to just one more minute just to wait for the rest of the people to join, okay? okay I'm going to turn off the computer. Okay, teacher. So did you just today there near where you live? There's power. So it didn't happen. I'm sorry, teacher. I listen with feedback. Yeah, there is like a, a connection. You know, the other computer was able to to connect. So I guess I'm going to uh, find a way to connect directly to the internet. It's going to be better, maybe for tomorrow. Okay, so we are going to start um, today. I'm going to show you something here. Okay, okay now that's fine. Okay. Okay, so this is the class for today. Remember that yeah, starting today, we're going to see here like a question for you to comment or discuss anything. And also, today we will be doing the homework, right? The, well, here it says 1.3, but it's, it's the second one, right? So it's uh, the sentence that we need to check if that is for certainly or not certainly. So like who, like to anything that is good, much, what we need to say, okay, what we need to respond. And we are going to we are going to check the attendance, of course. Check. Okay, let me just check here. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. 
Ophelia or Regina are safe? Here, teacher. Good. What's mean by the solar sun? Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good. Rafael Posales Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, good evening. Good evening. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Uh, Hello, Ricardo. teacher. Good evening. Yes, uh, working, uh, listen, uh, class. Okay, be careful there. Okay, thank you. Okay. William, it's a pleasure. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Eh, Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. And Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Perfect. Okay, my friends, we're going to start the class for today. Uh, do you remember what we were checking yesterday? About the distribution, the process of yeah, the distribution. Channel. Very good. Channels of distribution, right? So those are very important. And, um, okay, we're going to, going to start today with a book because uh, it's also important to check some things in the book. In this device, we won't be able to, to see the videos, at least not today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to test tomorrow with the other device. And uh, let me just check. Okay. So, um, everybody has access to the platform already, right? Ready, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Yes. Very well. Okay. So you know that you have the book there, you can download it, and also you can print it if you want. Whatever you want to do, that will be it. And uh, well, the unit one, it says, I will be able to express advantages and disadvantages of direct and indirect distribution channels. So in the number one, it says, does your company sell products and services directly to the consumers? Uh, let's see people, any opinion? Maybe two, maybe three opinions. Does your company sell products and services directly to the consumers, to the direct consumers? Yes, Anybody? yes. Okay, so you... Okay, what kind of product does the company sell? For example, at the company, uh, we, we sell uh, headsets for the call centers. Ah, uh, head. Yeah, I remember you just said yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, we sell. Anybody? Uh, Good. Uh, we just sell just to, the com to, to the company that use that kind of headset, yeah. right? Like this one. Good. Any other person? So the rest, they do not sell to consumers, the final consumer. Okay, what kind of business distribute their product to other stores? What do you think? What do you think? For example, raw materials. Raw materials, like, yeah, for example, in the factories, you have threads, you have clothes, you have uh, dyeing, so that will be part of yes. to build something, something else. It's good, perfect. 
Okay, so uh, number one, there is a conversation. Ellie and Joel are talking about options to distribute their products. So we are going to, of course, practice the conversation with the partner. For first of all, we are going to check the pronunciation. So I'm going to say, and you are going to repeat. Okay, everybody, please repeat. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Very good. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. Really well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Let's give a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog at store. Very good. So we're going to check. Thank you uh, for the ones who repeated. We're going to check some vocabulary. But we're going to try to explain those words in English. So for example, um, what is... What do you think is an audio training, an audio training program? A specific what training for listening. Okay, very good. It's a training that you do it by listening. Sometimes some people in the US, that is very, very common, that you are driving on your way home or to your job and you are listening to things like training. So audiobooks are also very common in that way because some people, they do not have the time to read the book. So sometimes they prefer to invest some time in that kind of activities. What is an entrepreneur? Does anybody know? What is an Maybe entrepreneur? People don't have experience. Or, yeah, sometimes. Uh -huh. Or person are starting a new project or new job or new um, or self uh, project. Okay, very good. Any other opinion? What is an entrepreneur? It's very close. It's very close. In your own words, of course. Maybe okay, a yes, person. Anna. Sorry. Go ahead, please. Okay, I think that uh, could be a per person who organize and operate a business or businesses. Very good. Something like that, actually. So, an entrepreneur is that kind of people that they say, "I don't want to get a job." I will make my, my own business. I will do it myself, everything. And you start your own business. So you are your boss. So that is an entrepreneur, somebody that starts their own business and they try to, to sell products or services to other companies by themselves. Okay? So In the other Spanish one says really... Emprendedores, teacher. Uh, yeah, I will be 
Okay, so the next one says really where well, we need to check with a consultant. What is a consultant? The people have the experience in specific areas and you share with the other people. Very good. Perfect. What for opinion? Someone that offers their um, service uh, to the companies and when the company is going, um, or maybe when when you are um, <gasps> when you are um, in your own business and you need and you need more. Um, advices i think very good perfect thank you yeah consultant is somebody that is an expert in an area right and uh, they provide us they they expertise uh, the the experience to other companies that need to solve problems or to create um training or process or a manual anything so they come to the company and they say, no, you need to do it this way, step by step, and provide you the, the guidance on that one. So that will be the consultant, okay? Very good, perfect. I don't have any experience with this. Go ahead. Uh, teacher, good evening. Yes, when you have a business, you always will need a consultant, tips, suggestion, recommendation, or any uh, help for your business because you need the other people with another experience for you grow up in your business. That is true. That is true. I mean, uh, you know, once I have a friend that somewhere, I don't know where, I read that whenever you want to do a project, it's very good to go and look for a friend that is very negative. And he's going to tell you a lot of, a lot of, um, how can I say, that are not going to work well. So you can take that in consideration before you draw a project. So a consultant is an expert, right? Provide you advice in one or another way. Of course, you need to pay them, right? So, good. Let's see what else. Uh, we sell uh, everything. Let me see. Experience with we sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. What is an online store? That is easy. Any Let's do the next so we can practice, okay? It's not physical store, it's in the website or the other platform in the line in the, for the internet. I... Very well. Yes, so it's not physical store. So you don't go to a place and purchase anything. You go online uh, and look for some services and you pay online, you receive or you can go and take that one. So for the pandemic, that became very, very common, right? Have you, you, did you purchase online already? Have you ever purchased online? Let's see, I'm going to ask today, um, Susana. Have you purchased anything online? Hi, can you repeat, please? Of course. Have you purchased anything online? Yes, I do. What have you purchased? Um, repeat again, please. I have a trouble for listening to you. 
Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I guess the internet connection is not good. Tomorrow I'm going to do something about it. Um, so, what have you purchased? I have a like. Y si tengo, no, te, no entiendo la última palabra. What have you purchased online? Oh, I have um, sometimes uh, clothes, very articles, something like that. Okay. And with the clothes, I have a question for you. When you purchase clothes, uh, the clothes are the way that you expect it was going to be? No, not really. really. Sometimes it is very different. That happens, right? So that is a disadvantage of buying something online that you yes. are not sure what, the quality you're, going to, what you're going to have. <laughs> See, the quality is, is the same. Yeah. The same. You see one thing and you receive other stuff. That is true, not good. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Susana. We're going to ask somebody else. Let's see, Anna, sell me. Teacher. Uh, you purchased... Go ahead, Lourdes. Uh, your uh, sound is not clear for me. I'm sorry. For me yeah, too. That's why I was trying to do the other computer. Um, okay. Please, teacher. I have two computers. This Compared to the I other computer, I have to Teacher, I don't know if I have a problem, but I don't understand that you told because your son is cut. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe your head has problems, teacher. Yes, me too. No, it's, it's not the headset, it's the internet connection. Ah, the internet, okay. Yeah, it's... it's yeah, it's the internet. You, you yeah. stop. Because it's, uh, you you yeah. are talking, stopping. <laughs> and that, and that same happened to me when I listened to you. Ah, okay. But that's delay. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a delay. So yeah. what I will do today is I'm going to speak a little bit slower. Tomorrow, uh, I will purchase online an adapter for me to connect directly. You know, I, I have this little cable. I don't know if you can see it, but um, with this Chromebook, I'm not able to connect it. So with the other computer, I am able to connect it, but the computer is very slow. So I don't like that. But anyways, tomorrow, I guess I will be fixing that one. And you know, I am not the only one. I'm checking here that Ophelia actually is trying to connect and it's been like that for maybe 20 minutes. So internet connection these days is not good at all. Okay, I'm sorry about that one, but tomorrow I will fix that. So we were talking with Lourdes, right? Lourdes, have you purchased anything online? Mm, yes, I purchased uh, around two years ago. Well, um, in the month later, uh, I purchased a computer online. Okay, and it was a good purchase? It was everything fine? Yes, it's an excellent purchase uh, because in that day that I uh, purchased the computer, uh, this, this commercial uh, have a 20% discount for this purchase and the computer was uh, the better price uh, in the in my in my uh, purchase because I have a a budget, but with the discount 
Uh, for me, it was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, very good. Those are very good offers, very good bargains, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ophelia. One more. Zulma, have you ever purchased anything online? Mm, let me see. Um, really, no, only in page on Facebook. I or or a store on Facebook. I buy a cell phone or a technology product. Okay. So do you prefer to go to a physical store than online? Yes, uh, it is uh, important to see the product and to um, taste the quality or uh, if you Uh, this can uh, help to improve if you paid for do you want. Perfect, very good. Yeah, that is uh, something that is a disadvantage when you purchase online. So you are not able to see the quality of the product or if it's what you really want or need. Right? So that is true. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay, let's continue with the conversation. It says, me neither. Remember that neither it also can be pronounced neither. So neither or neither is the same, okay? So what is neither or neither? Do you remember? Try in English, please. Is the same when you say me too. Yes. It's oh, so a negative way. Oh, in yeah. a negative way. Yeah. Yeah, it's when you agree on something in a negative way, right? Mm -hmm. When you say, I don't like this, me neither. Me neither. So yes. we agree it's negative. In, uh -huh. in a negative. In a and negative. what is the affirmative? Either. Either or mm -hmm. either, very good. I, yeah, yes, yes. Perfect. Good. So it says, me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit. Do you remember what is profit? Utility. Very good. So it's like the reason of a business, right? is that extra money that we get when we do a sell or anything like that. Okay, Prophet, we will get from a partnership. Do you remember what is a partnership? It's a partner for the business. Very good. So a partnership yes, yeah. is- An association of two or more people. Is an association with other company or other people. So you will be able to work together to achieve a goal, let's say. And do you remember what was a retailer store? The retailer store buys product, but in a small quantity to sell to, to the client. Very good. That is it. So a retailer store is uh, where you, the consumer, the final client, go and buy. So like little stores in the neighborhood. Good. 
let's give it a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more. Okay, I believe that I don't have any other words. Do you have any questions on a word pronunciation or phrase in the conversation? Catalog, say this. Yeah, catalog. Catalog. Okay. Catalog. Uh -huh. Good. Any other question? No questions. Very good. So now we are going to practice the conversation. So two people and everybody's going to practice, of course. Uh, Patricia and Carla, please. Carla Vasquez. Okay. Yes. And other Patricia in Teacher, excuse me. I not understand instruction. Uh, you are going sound... to practice the conversation. Okay. Okay. I thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we we need to share with a consultant. I don't have any experience with a distribution option. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if any visit our success, we can sell more from our catalog store. Thank you. Now I have many and Michelle. Okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio, audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from cat catalog at stores. Perfect, thank you. Now, Gloria, I can understand Lourdes, Beatriz. Okay, I am Ellie. Okay. I'm Ellie. Okay. I can talk about sailing physical copies of our audio training program for enterprise. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our line, online store. Uh, me neither. Maybe we call us around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it's a and if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at the stores. Okay. Thank you. Now Guadalupe Okay. I am thinking about selling physical 
digital copies of our audio channel for and for entertainment. Hello, it's your turn. Can you hear? I guess he has problems. Okay. Uh, Rosa Elena. Hey, teacher, I hear you. Okay. Uh, Guadalupe, can you start again, please? Okay. Thank you about sending digital copies of our audio training program for entertainment. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our, or our online store. Me neither. Maybe we can ask around in how much profit we could from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it, if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Thank you. Okay, now uh, we're gonna listen to Sandra Mendez and Pamela. Okay, I start me. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. I am thinking about selling certificate copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer store or online store. We need it. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. Uh, if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Thank you. Now, Anna Selmi and Adriana Martinez. I'm sorry, but we can hear. No, we are not able to hear. Can you hear, Anasalmi? We are not able to hear. Maybe it's the volume because I. Here, teacher. Oh, okay, here now. Yeah, very good. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, I am thinking about physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Adriana, are you there? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ophelia is still connecting. She has some problems with the internet. Uh, Susana, please help. Send me. Susana is... Joel, no, I continue, teacher. Um, no, let's wait. Let's see who else can help you. Maybe there are some problems with the internet because a lot of people are not. Oh, yeah, yeah please. Uh, don't tell me. Okay, I am early. Yeah, you can start if you want this time. Okay. I am thinking about selling physical copies of or audio training program for entrepreneurs. 
Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around see how much profile we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give try a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more for our catalog of stores. Perfect, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Sulma and uh, who else this means? Adriana is not here. Sulma and uh, Ricardo Alexis. Okay. Um, I start. Yes, I'm please. Think, okay, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Hello, Ricardo. Mm, yes. Not there either. Um, Nelson was not, he said that he was not able to. Um, let's see, who else, who else is missing? I, let me check. This one. Um, I believe everybody did right. So, I guess you can hear. Okay. So could you please help? With Zulma, please. So she can do it. Hello, teacher. Yo, Ophelia. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of or of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. I'm ready. I will. I will. I need to check. I will. I consultant. I. I don't has any experience. I will. I distribution option where share everything, everything to the consumer, a uh, torturing or online student. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Unless I wish everything in this process. if everything in is 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 success. I went can sell more in from or cataro story. So everybody did it now. Um, just some uh, pronunciation problems. Entrepreneurs, remember this entrepreneurs. Uh, let's see, through online store. You can say directly or directly, but directly is like the most common. Neither or neither. Uh, let's see, partnership, success. And the rest was very good. Do you have a... So we have these questions about the conversation. Number one, how does Ellie want to expand their business? What would be the answer for the question? How does Ellie want to expand their business? Ellie want to sell on physical copy. Very good. Sell physical copies, right? So 
is like a change. So number two, do Joel and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? No, they don't. No, they don't. Any experience? Very good. Very I good. don't have any experience. They don't have any experience. Good. Number three. What indirect distribution channel are they considering? Online store. Ah, okay, so we have two. Well, we have many answers here. So we have somebody says online store. Other people say retailer store. And other people said catalog at stores. So let's think about all of those. Uh, the first one says or online store, but it says we sell everything directly. So this is not indirect. It's a direct, it's a direct channel of distribution, okay? So the online store is direct. So the retailer store, is that indirect? What do you think? Yes, it's indirect. 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 Yeah. Indirect. Very good. But online. So, very good. That's indirect. Right. And what about catalog at stores? Is that indirect? Yes, directly. Okay, yes, that is indirect. So now let's analyze. What is the difference between direct channel and an indirect channel? Face to face. Face to face. Sell face to face. Face to face. And, and how do you say and view? Sorry. Okay, so another opinion about internet and that is what is the difference? You say, I don't listen to you, I don't understand. Probably in a little bit around. Cook. Listen, cook. Okay, question is anybody else's opinion? This. Do you have, have any opinion about the difference between internet and that channel? Uh, me, I think um, the difference is when the company can uh, sell direct to client the product and uh, the other uh, way is when the company use other store or other companies to uh, go to the client. Anything company use platform, computer, and, and different uh, store, physical. Okay, very good. Yeah, that is the difference. Uh, the direct channel distribution is when you go directly to the final consumer. 
And the internet is when you go to a retailer, police retailer, an agent, a courier. So that is the main Very good. Can you listen a little bit better now? Hello. Okay, let's continue. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we are going to read. Now let's see. Mayra, could you please read the first? Yes, teacher. An intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells through reseller. Okay, so that is the number one. It says an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk. Do you know what is a bulk? What is the bulk? Um, no, volume, but the, the question is volume uh -huh. the, when the porch in big quantity. Very good. That is it. Bulk is a large amount, a big quantity of something, right? And look what it says. And sells to resellers. So they don't sell to the consumer. So they sell to resellers. So it's going to be that retailer, consultant, distributor, wholesaler, or manufacturer's representative. Retailer? Retailer, everybody agrees? I think that no. is wholesaler. Wholesaler, uh huh. Anybody or else? manufacturer's representative. Mm, manufacturer representative. Mm. We have three different opinions. Uh huh. What is the answer? So it's not a person. So it's not consultant and it's not manufacturer's representative. It's not that one. Do you remember what is? Teacher, you can write the uh, <laughs> yes. questions, please. I'm sorry. Please teach it. Yeah. So you listen now. It's not consultant. It's not representative. So what would be? It's not retailer. Okay, that is going to be distributor. Is it distributor? Yeah. It's going to be a distributor because um, buys in bulk and sells to reseller. So that's a distributor. The next one it says, okay, let's see. Yeah, Linares, read number two. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, 
de historia aquí. Okay, an agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. What is the answer for this? Manufacturers, representative. Manufacturers, representative. What do you think? And the rest? Okay. Not for me, the number for me, for, uh -huh. me for me distributor teacher distributor yeah. these are very similar to the wholesaler so it might be distributor or wholesaler yeah okay. number three personal business that sell good to the public in a small quantity for use. Okay, a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. Retailer. Good. That is a retailer, yes. Retailers. Okay, I mean. number four. Okay, let's see. Um, Anna, sell me. Could you please read the number four? Yes, teacher. A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistic is okay. consultant. Very good. Okay. This one is consultant. Very good. consultant. And uh, number five, uh, Ophelia, please read number five. Can hear Ophelia. Excuse me. In an dividend agency or company, I does sell manufacturing a product, a product I to horlets and realty costmen. Okay. An individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer's product to wholesale and retail customers. So that is manufacturer's representative, of course, is that. Okay, good. Do you have any questions? Hello, do you have any questions? No question, teacher. No, that's okay. Okay. Okay, so we are going to check the attendance. Let's right. see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. 
Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Good. Eh, Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Zulma Rosaura López García. Here. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present, teacher. Very good. Perfect. Okay, we're going to continue. So can you hear me a little bit better now? Is yes. it better? Now? Yes. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let's continue with the book anyways. So we can move forward. Okay, so we're going to check the next page. So building vocabulary. It says, look at the chart and read the examples below. And we have distribution channels for consumer products. And uh, well, you see there the difference, right? So the first one is a direct channel. Producer directly to the consumer. The next one is a retail channel. So it's producer, and then the retailer, and then the consumer. And the last one, it says wholesale channel. So that is a more complicated channel. So for everybody, what products do you know that are in a direct channel of distribution. What products do you know are in a direct channel of distribution? Therapies, maybe? Everybody. The service, like the electricity, the, the phone mobile. I think. Right. Yeah, service, nice. What else? Any other example of diet? The small business pupusería store of the, the neighbor. Very good.
Yeah, actually all the restaurants, everything that is related with food is a direct channel, right? Um, things like that are direct. Okay, what can be examples of retail channel? The pharmaceutic uh, business, for example, they use a pharmacy for distribute your uh, product. Very good, that is true, perfect. Any other example? Any other example of retail channel? The market teacher, the market. Yeah, that is a very good example because, well, that depends actually, because depending on the vegetables, fruits, uh, sometimes they come from another country, for example, from Mexico, right? So that is a very large distribution channel. It's not only retailer and then the consumer. But yeah, there is a lot that can be this way. Okay, example of wholesale channel. Supermarkets. Very good. Mm -hmm. So supermarket, definitely. Yeah. Any other? And the shoe stores. Okay. Teacher? Very good. Yeah. yeah. Shoe, shoe store stores, because yeah. they come from different parts. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So now we are going to do the exercise six. It says categorize the examples according to the channels presented in the chart. And of course, we're going to do that together. In the number one, it says, Amazon sell Kindles to its customers through its own platform. So what is that? Do you know what is a Kindle? So do you know what is a Kindle? Anybody? Kindle is the platform when sell books, no. It's something like that. It's something like a like that. tablet. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. The product consumer first. Okay, very good. Yeah, it's the first type. This is going to be a direct channel because Amazon sells and yeah. they produce that one. Very good. And yes, the Kindle is like a tablet, but the main purpose of a Kindle is like uh, for you to read books. That will be the main, the main one. Okay, number two, please read that one, uh, Mayra, Melanie. Number two, please. Okay, IKEA buys product from different manufacturers and sells, and sells them in their stores. Very good. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. So which one is, which of those three? Anybody? Wholesale channel, maybe. Very good, that is wholesale, yeah. Because they sell a lot of things, right? Good. Number three, uh, let's see, please. Sulma, could you please read that one? Number three. Yes. Um, a uh, with some grocer supplies a line of independent grocery store with purchases in bulk. 
okay? Mm. Awesome Grocers, that is the name of uh, an independent grocery store. I mean, it, Awesome Grocers is like a large grocery store where you can find a lot of things. So do you remember what is Awesome? Does anybody remember what is awesome? Just that word. Como asombroso o... Oh, in English. Or yeah, amazing? it's like fantastic, amazing, good, very good. And uh, well, it says awesome grocery supplies. What is to supply? In English, please. In English, provide. Provide. Oh. Supplies. Very good. Provide. To provide things. Okay. And it says supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. Do you remember what is bulk, right? In uh, large amount of quantities, but not that large. Okay. So what is this number three? Which channel might be this? Wholesale. Wholesale, what do you believe, everybody? It's a retail. It's a retail, For me it's a yeah. Retail. yeah. Yeah, it's a retail, that is a retail, good. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see, number four. Um, Selinaris, please read number four. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, Dell Computer Sales throw its own online platform or call center. Okay. So Dell Computers sells through its own online platform or call center. So what is this? Is direct retail or wholesale? Direct channel. Di direct channel. Very direct good. Channel. Direct channel. Good. Nice. Number five. Uh, could you please help us with that? Let's see. Pamela. Hello, Pamela. Okay. Uh, let's see low space number five. Okay. The gap buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. Very good. So the gap is the name of the store, of course. Buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. So what is that? Which one is it? For me, retailer. Retailer. What What do you believe? The rest of the class? Retailer is fine? Wholesale. Wholesale. For me, wholesale. Wholesale. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess this is more like wholesale. Very good. Okay, and number six. Let's see. Guadalupe Carmen, please read number six. Better grocery supply align of the independent grocery store with grocers in book. Okay, so better grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. This is very similar to number three. So what is going to be this? Retail. Retail. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Do you have any questions about this? Not teacher. Good. Oh, we are not going to see there. Thank you. The videos. <laughs> okay. Because of the internet connection. Um, Let's see. 
Okay, this question is interesting. Which channel is more effective? What do you think? Which of these three ones is more effective? In general, the old channels Depends uh, which must be effective, but maybe the direct channel because it's more direct with the consumer. Okay, yeah, opinion. yeah, you, yeah, of course. Actually, I agree. I believe that depending on the product, depending on yeah, where you are going to distribute this to, right? It's not the same to distribute in the same city that in the whole country. So it's totally different. So uh, yes, all the uh, channels are effective. So, and you can take, you can adapt the channel that is better according to your situation. Good. Next question says, is it a good idea to combine channels to get better results? What do you think? I think yes. Because you can uh, sell to different uh, clients. For example, in my case, I, I work at a bank and we combine two or more a channel distribution uh, one is direct channel in the case of agency but in the uh, other department we use pharmacy or gasolineras how do you say gasolineras uh, yes we yes we use a uh, Corresponsales, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, for to eh, go to. Yes, eh, eh, client, more client. Okay, but thank you very much. Okay, um, we're going to, let's see how it's going to be the next. Uh, no, we're, we're going to deal with another topic that is related with the class of today. So, expressions of certainty. So, these are like uh, expressions that we use to express if you are sure about something or not sure about something. So, as you can see there, we have expressions for our sanctity. For example, it's possible, it's impossible. It might be, it might not be. It could happen. You wouldn't like to say for certain, I'm not sure, I doubt it. I have my own doubts, it's doubtful. So these are when you are not sure about something. So do you have any question about these ones? What is the meaning of doubtful? Doubtful, doubtful is like when you're not sure about, it's doubtful. I believe that is not true. So it's like, uh, eso es dudoso, something like that. Any other question? Okay, it's very easy for you to use that one. I mean, it's impossible or it's possible. It's possible that today it rains. That is possible. So it's not for sure. It's a possibility. So let's practice a little bit. Let's see. Um, Rosa Elena, could you please tell me an example with it's impossible in a sentence? 
it's impossible that tomorrow uh, it's impossible that uh, tonight is going to rain okay very good perfect thank you it might be so it's like 50, 50. it's not for sure it's possible so uh, let's see sandra mendes could you please tell an example with it might be Example, what? With it might be. I think other words. I'm sorry? I don't know other words it might be. Okay. I don't know what other words it might be. Very good. And it might not be, it's like the same, but it's, it's in negative. Good. So it could happen that uh, an example with that one, please. Let's see. Uh, add up. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Why? why... Why phrase? It could happen. It could happen. It could happen. It's a rain tomorrow. It could happen that tomorrow rains. Very good. Perfect. I wouldn't like to say for certain. That is a very large for them. Sure. Um. Please tell an example with. I wouldn't like to say for certain. I am not sure. The final. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that is with the next one. It's good. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure. That is very common in Spanish, right? The other one is I doubt it. Let's see. Um, and I'm sure. An example. Uh, I doubt it that tomorrow rain in the morning. Okay, good, but thank you. The last one, it's doubtful. Uh, well, I have my own doubt. Those are very similar. For certainty, we have absolutely, sure, definitely, certainly, of course, and positive. Let's finish out on those. Uh, let's see. A sentence with absolutely. I was not able to listen. So, an, an example with absolutely. Okay. So now we're going to get into sure. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. I'm not sure if uh, tomorrow 
I will go to the job or I will go to okay. the work. Okay, very good, perfect. That is for team. Gloria Elisa Linares. Okay, then Anna tell me with definitely. I'm sorry, teacher. Yes, example with definitely. Definitely, I need to study English every day. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's good. That's totally. That's going to be for Rosa Elena. Definitely. Oh my God. Uh, I think that certainly she knows me. Okay, that's a good one. Of yeah. course, that is a good one. Well, the other ones are very, very easy, like so we're not going to check them. I listen right now. Do you have any? Okay. Yeah, there's a we can try. So, uh, any questions about certainties, expressions of certainty? Okay, so there are other examples. So I'm sure of it. You can say that one. I'm sure that English is very important. I'm sure of it. I am certain about that, of course. Um, I have no doubt about it. So that is like the other ones. I am 100% sure of it. That's very, very common in Spanish, right? I am undoubtful. Do you know what is undoubtful? Doubtful is dudoso. Undoubtful is. Oh my God. Uh, I'm undoubtful. Yeah. I am. I, I can. I can. Indudable. Indudablemente. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. Nice. Very good. Okay. The other one says, I believe the vaccine will work well. What is vaccine? Do you remember what is vaccine? In the COVID-19. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not for the pandemic. We got so, okay, absolutely, definitely. I am quite sure that is also very common in English. I am quite sure, I'm very sure that something, right? There is no doubt about that. And you can use a, a must, a must appear. And the other ones are expressions of our century. I am not sure of that. So it's like the opposite, right? I doubt it. I don't think so. That is very common. I have doubts about that. I don't believe it. I am uncertain about that. It is possible, maybe, perhaps, probably, and I am doubtful. So those are, there are lots of expressions that you just you know, what you want to express. Of course. So, do you have any questions about this? No questions. Okay, so this is a distribution process. Okay, it's like a step-by-step -step distribution process. 
So of course, the first one is producer or company acquires rights to a film or story. So this is for a specific thing. Do you know what is acquire? What is acquire? If I obtain or get, no. Okay. Yes. yes. Is uh, something like obtain to get, yes. and it says rights to a film. When we say rights to a film, what is that? When I write the 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 speech for the movie and the the owner. I have the rights for the, the movie. Yeah. Very good. So when you have the rights, you are the owner to use. Or, or in maybe this case, I'm film. a compositor. Yeah. I write the letter of the son and I'm the, I'm the owner. That's my, I have the rights. Very good. Very good. So there is something that is called the right. Do you know what it's called, right? Copyright. Yeah, the copyright is when uh, nobody can reproduce without your permission. Very good. Yeah. That is copyright. Yeah. That you need to ask for permission and pay, right? Yeah. No, the no, the right. movies have the copyright, the, 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 the albums to the thing. The singers have copyrights. Nobody can reproduce it. That is true. Very good. Perfect. So, do you know what is copyleft? What is copyleft? Uh, okay. Copyleft. It's um, like I I am doing, I have the rights, but for free usage, any I can use it. So let's copy that. <laughs> so um, copy is when yes, there is somebody that is the owner of the film for example but you are free to use it. you can use it at any time you don't have to pay anything so that's called that good the next one says production finance and cast and crew confirmed so that is part of the distribution what is crew Do you know what is crew? Crew the situation, for example. Many people, the crew? Yeah, like the team, the crew is like the people that is going to act in this, in this film, let's say. But the crew is also a bunch of people. Okay, the next one, it says screenplay developed by one or more writers. Screenplay, what is screenplay, do you know? What is screenplay? Screenplay is like uh -huh. the, the, the screenplay is the script of for a movie. Exactly. The script. Yeah. So everybody, it's like the explanation what you need to do and what you need to say. Good. So and then it says principal photography takes place. Uh, in studios or agreed locations, followed by months of post-production, editing, and scoring. I believe this is very clear. So that is like 
when you go and take some films, right? And then distribution develops release strategy, considers release date and takes delivery a or a master print of the finished film. So what is to develop? That's the question. What is to develop some? I can't explain, but I can explain, but develop. For example, the artist, for example, Tom Hanks develop her. How do you say? Huh? The stars are the whole thing. He develop. I can understand. I can explain the develop. <laughs> okay, this is a good example. Very good. Thank you. You develop is you have something and you start developing. So you have a product or service or anything like that. And here it says a release strategy. Uh, so when when they are going to release a film, they need to have they need to plan a strategy, a channel distribution. Right? They need to understand what is the best date for them to release the film, um, what day of the week, uh, where it should be released, things like that. And then the other one, it says, distributor presents the film to exhibitors and negotiates bilateral agreements to show it in cinemas. Okay, it's very interesting, this one. Agreement, what is an agreement? What is an agreement? Anybody knows what is an agreement? Maybe like a, a contract or um arrangement or accord it's like arrangement when you are negotiating somebody else but then you are not in all the points and now you are ready to move very good so that then it says distributors marketing campaign aims to create a want to use buzz among target audience and launches film. So here are there there are many words here. So for example, campaign. What is campaign? I don't know what is a campaign. Here, here we're, you're talking about the marketing campaign. When you, um, uh, when you promote, pro, promote, or promote, 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 when you promote uh, the, when you make, oh my God, <laughs> campaign, I can explain. When you promote a product, in this case, you promote the film. Yeah, I think it's when you decide step by step where to go and where to advertise. You are going to advertise anything, in this case, film. So, I mean, for example, in Christmas for Christmas, all Christmas, we send a campaign about gifts and snow and things like that. It's not here. It's Christmas. Nowadays, they start 
in October. Right? So those are campaigns. The other word is aim. Do you know what is aim? Campaign aims. What is aims? Does anybody know what is aims? Objective okay. or goals? So we have a goal do aim the goal. Right? You are watching the goal. For example, when you when you target that can be done with a arrows or a gun or anything you aim first. Right? So in this case we're talking about marketing. We're talking about the public that is aimed the phone to something like that. So it's like point to the, the right kind of people, the right sector, uh, segment of the market. So that is aims. And then it says, uh, create a want to buzz. Uh, you know what is a buzz, right? Buzz. It's like a sound that it do, but in this case, it's uh, like uh, when they are not sure, I mean, there is like a, a deviation where we can move this target, let's say. And the last word here is launches. What is launch? Launch, but launch. Like go live of product. The launches when when something start. When you launch a product, okay. this in this moment the product will go out to this yes. to the people to the market. The presentation in the market. Uh huh. Very first launch. Last we released the product, right? You see, this date at 9 p.m. is going to be launched. Do you know that, that date at that time you will have to that product? Perfect. Uh, then it says film prints discs, including the BBOEFC. That is something that we're not going to discuss. Certificate are delivered to cinemas a few days before opening. Uh, here, we're not going to check anything. So uh, the next one says, films run extends any numbers of weeks subject to demand, which may be augmented by additional marketing. So um, what is demand? Interest. Very good. So, yeah, so when there are people the man is like a request. Product, okay. So it's like in the market, right? It's, uh, the man, people are looking to purchase to buy something. That is demand. Very good. And uh, then it says augmented. I believe you know that one. That is one. And the last one, it says following its run in cinemas, the film is released in subsequent windows, home entertainment, TV, and quickly becomes a catalog title. Okay. So I believe this is very clear. Do you have any questions about this? This is a distribution plan for film. For movie. Of course, um, it's not a common but let's 
let's let's do an exercise about this one. Uh, in mind, in mind that we have um, what product can we discuss about? In mind that we want to distribute shirts. So you have the factory that has the shirts. What will be the next step? You finish a million shirts there. So what is the next step for us to distribute that one to the final consumer? What do you think is the next step? I have to find the best channel distribution. We need to analyze. Yeah, okay. to analyze. Yeah. Okay, so imagine that we have 1 million shirts. Do you believe that is better a direct channel of distribution or an indirect channel? In the case, a whole thing. Very good. Probably it's going to be better a wholesale, right? A wholesale. So, um, what will be then uh, if we decide, okay, we decided already in this meeting that we are going to use wholesale. So, what is the next step? We know that we have to, but what is the next step? If we want to use a whole cell distribution channel, person distribution agents. Good. Look for an agent, right? People that have contacts. So you go and look for people that have the contacts that know somebody in Walmart, know somebody in that spends on Juan, um, some store Sanjax, I don't know anything like that one right so imagine that you go to the meeting with the agent and you have an agreement you have the arrangement for everything so what is the next step Agreement. I'm sorry. Agreement. Yeah, definitely. You need to do an agreement with the agent and with the people where you are going to distribute that one. But now you have the agreement. So you know that you are going to work with these or these other people. So what might be the next step? If you have the agreement already, if you talk with the agent and you still have one million shirts there. So what is next? You need to coordinate the distribution. Very good. So you maybe, need to decide. Maybe use uh -huh. the consignation uh, in inventories in different uh, Different stores, or maybe but in general, for the amount of the inventory, is the maybe uh, in, in, for the example, but uh, for the quantity, is better the specific order for the production. But in this case, the inventory is available to sell the other way, maybe consignation for a lot of sites, in my opinion. Very good. Actually, that's a very good option. I mean, when you decide how many shares you're going to send to the store, to store A, 
to store B, to store C. Maybe store A is going to have a lot of shares and store B and C and D is less. So you need to decide how you are going to move the shares according to the, to the um, purchase order, right? And then you decide if you are... I'm sorry. No, I think uh, the company needs to create the company needs to create a plan of production and distribution. That is true. I mean, uh, they have to know uh, at this point. They have to know what kind of trucks, what kind of um, delivery they are going to use. When is going to be delivered? When is going to be received? When is going to be the payment going back? And of course, check about if uh, the final consumer is satisfied about the products. I mean, uh, once the shirts are on the store, they need to verify that everything was nice at the end. And uh, it's very important also at the end of the, all this process to get feedback, right? So, who do we need feedback from? Do you know that? Oh, do you have an idea? Who do I need feedback from? To know if I did a very good job in the distribution channel. Who I need feedback from? I need feedback from so we need to know if we did a good job in the distribution channel but for us to know if the job was done good in a good way we need to hear the opinion of who that is the question who are going to go and ask how was how was the process what do you think You can ask at the whole distribution. That is the correct answer. You are going to receive feedback from everybody, right? From the agent to check about the agreement and if everything was fine. From the stores, if they received that on time with good quality. And uh, from the customers, the final consumer, to check if they are happy with the shirts, if there is something that we can do better. And also, we need to check the costs so, uh, to see if we can improve the logistics on this one. So that will be a good, a good thing, okay? Very good. Uh, so do you have any questions about the class of today? Uh, I, don't, I believe that now you can hear me a little bit better, right? Is it better now? Yeah, I, I have an idea on what is this going on. You know, because I um, I like technology a lot, and I know that the router is not working well. This is um, this is not my my regular job. You know, to teach English, I work for Google, and um, I like to teach English. That's why I'm here. But just like today was a little bit strange because the connection was not good. Now I believe it's a little bit better. Um, so that makes the class a little bit better. So tomorrow I'm going to do something else. Let's see how it goes. And your feedback is very important as well. So you can tell me anything, right? If you don't like anything, you can tell me. You can chat with me, of course, and you can send me direct if you want to provide feedback, positive feedback or negative feedback, of course, I will listen to you and you can send me chat directly. Or if you have questions about the class or if you have questions about any topic in the past that you never understood, you can reach me. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you on that. Okay. Any questions, any suggestions, anything 
for the class of today. No questions. Clear as our chat that we say. Yeah, the song, the song wasn't good enough, but the class for me yeah. was okay. The class for me was okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it, you know, it's, but it's the internet connection. I don't know. It, it's the router. And I have here another computer, but that that was a mess as well. So, and you know, the problem is, this is the very first time that I have problems with the internet connection. The first time. And the sad part is that it, when we are in intermediate students, it's very nice because we can speak very fast and we can speak in many, many ways that I've been like crazy these days because I was not able to. But anyways, we're here and we are going to continue checking into that. Okay, um, remember that we need to do the homework for today and the question is already there under the video. Also the video from yesterday is uploaded and I hope tomorrow everything is running better. We're going to check the attendance first, okay? And uh, today, let me just check. Okay, here we go. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Okay, Adriana, uh, you are going to be today in the 101, okay? Please stay. Okay, uh, Ana Salmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Eh, Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night and uh, practice English in your dreams. Good night. Okay, good thank night. you, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, class. See you tomorrow. Okay. Hello, Hello Adriana, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm very well. A little bit worried about my internet connection, but now it's better, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so tell me, um, 
you start English from zero, from the basic, here with the ESA for classes? In the, in the, in ESA for. So you started from, from the basic. Can you repeat the question, please? Of course. Uh, did you start from the very beginning with Insaform? Ah, yes, teacher. In, in, the, in the year 20, 20, 20 I don't remember it. 2019. Uh, 2019. I had uh -huh, uh -huh, 2019, uh, 2019, I start the, the study English in the uh, 20, 2020, 2020, 2020. Mm -hmm. And I, I stopped the, the, the study. And the, uh, and, and last year, um, retome. Re retook. Retook. Uh -huh. I, 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 uh, the class. Okay, that is interesting. Very good. And now you are intermediate. Very nice. And, um, uh, and the last well, year, uh, you have science month. March or April, and I continue uh, and no, no stop. Uh, so you've been continuously yes. learning English. That is very good. Yeah. Okay. And um, okay, uh, you have experience already on this one on one. So the next question is: Do you have any questions about not only this but any topic that you have seen in the past? Do you have any questions? In this moment, I don't have question. Sure. Okay, very good. Uh, let me ask you another question. Uh, in the last classes, in the other modules, did you speak Spanish or only English? In the last, in the last module, uh, only English. In the good. Another model and mixes, mixes English and Spanish. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, and um, how do you practice English? Do you practice only here with the class, or do you do something else? Teacher, in this, como eh, sinceramente? Honestly. Honestly, and eh, only only practice the English in the in the class and, uh, and I think I think it's very important okay another time I I would uh, practice English uh, but I I have I have more or much in activities in with my life and I I I mom and it's very it's very difficult for me. I have some two sons and in this moment it's very very difficult. Okay, I totally understand. Yeah, I know. I know that you, I mean, your job, uh, the house, the children, and yes, that is yes. difficult. But your level of English is very good. Actually, I, I really liked it. Oh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. It's very good. Um, I have another question. Uh, there are different parts of speech, the parts of English, I mean, for you to learn English. For example, reading, uh, listening, speaking, um, grammar, uh, what is the one that is more difficult for you? And that is speaking. <laughs> okay. And which one is the easiest? And the reading English. 
writing, okay? Uh -huh. So, and when you say that it's difficult to speak, uh, it's because you don't remember words or the structure. What makes it difficult? Mm, I think mm, maybe I don't know and say the words. And okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like maybe you need more vocabulary. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. now, now I understand. Okay, yeah, there are many ways for you to get vocabulary. For example, uh, in the level that you are right now, you can read. If you read, and uh, my advice for you is that when you are reading a book or anything that you're reading in English, and when you find a word that you don't know, don't go to the translator online. You need to go to a dictionary so you understand the word and then move on. And if it's a dictionary, an English dictionary is better. So you understand better that word and it's going to be with you forever. So that is something that is going to help you improve and getting more vocabulary and also to get the structure of all the English in a better way. So it's going to be a very good, a very good practice. Yes, teacher. Very good. Where do you I'll live? Intentaré. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> try. Uh, and uh, where do you live? Uh, I live in Antiguo Catlán. Ah, very well. And do you live? Uh, do you work nearby? A popa. Oh, so I you live. commute. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. That is interesting, very good. Uh, do you have any question about any grammar topic that you have seen uh, in the past that you maybe don't understand very well? Mm. No, teacher, I, in this moment, no, I no, 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 no haven't, no haven't question. I don't have. Okay, very well. I have another question for you. In this in this session of one on one, um, were you able to listen to me very well with no problems? Mm. Repeat, please. Uh, yes. Now that we are talking, just you and me. Uh, the question is, um, did you have any problems to listen? what I was saying. It was difficult to understand what I'm saying. I mean, uh, because of the headset of the internet connection. In today or in this, in this moment? In this moment, in the one-on-one. Mm, no, 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 no problem, teacher. We didn't have any problem, right? No. Yeah, it's because I'm I'm checking what what I'm gonna do tomorrow for for to avoid that the problems that we have with internet connection. So I'm thinking what might be the best solution for that one. So that's why I'm asking you. Sometimes in class I don't speak very fast because because of the internet connection. Sometimes it's not possible, and I don't want you to to miss something, to miss words or phrases. That's why I sometimes to speak slower, right? But you said that you didn't have any problems in these 10 minutes, right? Yes, teacher, and, and that you, and you question is for, and the camera, camera off. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Su pregunta es porque he tenido la cámara apagada. No. Ah, no, 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 le preguntaba por qué. Sí, me interesa que la conexión sea estable siempre, entonces hice un par de cambios mientras estábamos en la, en la sesión, por eso al principio no me escuchaban, pero después sí, y creo que era por el internet. Entonces yo le preguntaba si en estos 10 minutos que hemos estado hablando, si ha habido alguna interrupción, si me ha escuchado bien, si todo ha sido claro. No, 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 no,
Ok, ok. Ah, pues sí, la entendí bien. Pero sí, no, no, teacher, no. But in my case, eh, yes, I have a problem with my internet. I, in this moment, I connect with my cell phone. In, in this um, internet, my, my cell phone is not, it's not very, very it's not good. Okay. Se me traba, si, si, si pongo la cámara y empiezo a buscar otras cosas. Pero, oh, yeah, bueno, that happens. Yeah. Lo solucionaré. No, but the problem is with, with me. I mean, sometimes my internet is the one that is not working properly. But, of course, I'm going to check for tomorrow. What can we do for that? Okay. Perfect, Adriana. Is there any other thing that I can do for you before we finish? Mm, no, teacher. Perfect. Remember that if you have questions, you can ask me in the class. Also, you can ask me in the Google chat in WhatsApp. Also, you can ask me direct in the WhatsApp chat. So any questions that you might have, I will be there for you, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you Adriana, for your time and have a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Take care. Okay. Good so night. do you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night.